Logan, this is Randy back in the shop. <clears throat> I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an up update what's been happening. Um, I've been working outside getting everything put away for the winter. We had a little bit of snow this past Wednesday. Um, not, not enough to even cover the ground, but it was snowing a little bit. And uh, <clears throat> um, I got an update on the surface grinder. I think that's basically all complete now. Um, I got the, the dust collection system fixed. I got the flood coolant on it. So um, let's get all, go over to the surface grinder and we'll take a look. All right, we're over by the surface grinder now. This is the, the chute that I made for <clears throat> catching the swarf and the dust with a hose hooked to it. And what I did is I bought um, a bucket head, which is like a vacuum, goes on a five gallon pail. And uh, <clears throat> um, the, the bucket is underneath the, underneath the machine. And uh, <clears throat> I got a switch panel down over here. These two switches here. This one is for the vacuum. This one's for the flood coolant. <clears throat> um, I got the piping all made. Uh, made this bracket here and bought some copper tubing and copper, yeah, copper tubing and some elbows and stuff with a ball valve on it <clears throat> and let me swing this around over here here's the drain there's a trough in here and it drains right through here right to the coolant container in the back um, let's walk around the back and I'll show you that there's the bucket head it fits underneath the machine and I made that shelf there uh, it's a piece of like 40,000 thick aluminum and I got my bead roller out rolled a couple beads in it and then <clears throat> rolled this edge along the the ends to help stiffen it up some <clears throat> and uh, here's my container for the coolant And what I ended up using is I used a 300 gallon per hour fountain pump to pump the coolant. This is my return. This is my feed to the nozzle. And uh, it seems to work really good. It's, you know, submersible. It just sits in the bottom of the bucket here. Sits in the bottom there. The lid, lid, lid just snaps in place. So that's basically pretty well all sealed up. And uh, I'll show you how this part works. <coughs> so, <coughs> wind this table back here a little bit. Turn the pump on. Open the valve up. And there you have it, just like that. I made the, I pinched the tubing down so that it was more of a spray instead of a big floating mess. And uh, it'll really flow a lot of coolant. I mean, it, it'll flow more than what it'll drain. And this is the the backsplash I made for it. I don't really know for sure how this is going to work. That's why I haven't painted it if I want to make any changes or anything to it. But um, <clears throat> it seems to work really good. I mean, that's only cracked open about a quarter. It will it will flow more coolant than what it will drain. So <clears throat> I 
And I just flick the switch on here. And uh, so I think for now, um, this is basically complete. Um, I used it a little bit. Seems to work a little bit. Seems to work really good. Get a little bit of splash, but I think you're going to get that no matter what you do. Um, <clears throat> so as of right now, I'd say that this project is done and uh, ready for use. This is a first time experience with sweating the copper tubing, putting the fittings and stuff on. And uh, it seems it seems to work out good. This block here I machined and bored a hole through it. And then I split it on the back side here and just use this Allen wrench to tighten it up. And I can lower this up and down. <clears throat> Hindsight probably should have ended up mounting this on the other side, but it's it's not the the pipe isn't really in the way. So <clears throat> in the, the light I can pretty much put wherever I want. So um, <clears throat> this took a little bit of figuring out how I was gonna do this. I took a bunch of cardboard, cut it up. And taped it together and kind of mocked it up and it's it's adjustable this nut right here um, that goes into this casting here I slotted this piece of angle iron so I can adjust this up and down and then it's bolted on the back side here <clears throat> I just put a couple bolts in it on the back side here so um, it's uh, going to be a good functional machine, I think. Well, that's all I got for today. Um, short video for a change. I got a few other projects in the works. I got a couple engine projects I'm working on for a friend of mine. Um, one is a 6.2 uh, aluminum block LS3 putting a four inch stroke crank in it with uh, I-beam rods and forge pistons and putting good stainless steel valves in the heads, um, roller cam, of course, and, and that kind of thing. Uh, it's going on a 70Z28 Camaro and uh, it's gonna be twin turbo with a six speed. <clears throat> and the other one I have is a 3.8 liter Buick V6 out of an 87 Grand National. <clears throat> so, um, you guys want to see some of that? Uh, leave me a comment and I'll be glad to film it. Um, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be more machining content coming up. So, anyway, hope everybody's having a great day and. Have a happy holiday, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.